Hello everyone, now to see here. Today I'm going to share some basic about two bags with you to make it easy, convenient, and sufficient to do nesting in two bags. And here are some main districts in two bags you can pose to help a chap. This video is divided into five parts import, process, nest, sort, and export respectively. The first we are going to talk about is import. After entering this software, the first we need to do is to edit the parts. Here are some common approaches to do that. Usually, we choose to draw a part manually. Click this option. You will lead to a new page to finish the part drawing. The above are some important functions, and we will talk about them in details in the near future. Click Main to you can select any shape listed here you want. And in this blank, you can change the key parameters like length, thickness, and so on. Also, it is supposed you to add a sub-tube with designated shape. You are allowed to realize different effects by changing the parameters here. Click OK to save the change, and then we add a part into best. And there are other ways to import the parts. For example, you are allowed to import RGS and S80 files if the part has been finished in other software. Click the file. There will be its preview over here. And you can also click to multi-select the files by holding Shift or Control. And all parts selected will be imported at one go. You can browse the parts respectively to check if they are imported correctly. To ensure that, you need to get three things confirmed. The section is identified correctly. Extrusion direction is along with Y axis. Carding path is reasonable. Generally, you need to check if there is no redundant carding path. If the part imported cannot meet the requirements above, maybe there is something wrong in the important interface. More details on it we will talk about in the near future, and you can also contact us by email if necessary. As we can say, the parts imported are listed on the left side, in different sections with the previews. At the bottom, there are some convenient functions. Click the corresponding icon, the parts will be displayed in the main window, in which you are allowed to rotate the screw wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Press middle mouse button and move the mouse, you can adjust the view randomly. Press F3 to adapt the window, and press F4 to restore the default view. Also, to change its view faster, you can double-click the part side and then select any one you want. Hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse to track the part position in this window. Press Shift and rotate the scroll wheel to spin it slowly. Press Shift and middle mouse button to spin it a little faster. Press Ctrl and rotate the scroll wheel to spin it more faster. Besides, you can click Display to modify the viral effect. Also, the interface skin and language are changed here.
And next, we are going to talk about the process which has the capability to change the carding path or direction by knowing the parameters of speed, gas, or something else in the carding software. I will talk about some most common process like lead lines. Click a specific carding path or whole part, then select lead lines and make some changes here. Click OK to generate the designated lead lines. And also compensation for special parts to be jointed into T-shape like this. If you just cut it according to this kind of carding path, there will be the interference due to the differences between the inner and outer control. To solve it, we can add a weld curve here. Then to us we automatically generate a special carding path to offset the interference. And besides, there are many processes in this software. You can enable specific ones in auto technique. To us, we remember settings in the future and we apply them on the parts imported after seeding them. And we will talk about it in details before long. Auto Nest plays an important role in two ways. Before that, we can make some batch operations to modify the part's name, amount, if added the text wrapped on the tube automatically. And you are allowed to make some changes here. Moreover, you are allowed to change them by clicking here. And also copy or even re-edit the part. For special part like eye shaped ones, there may be interference in the carding path. And if you simulate it directly like this, TubeBest will give you an error notification. Click OK to enter 3D vector window. Here you can have a collision check and you can choose self-modified or not according to the accurate result. But if you do, the 3D vector will be modified automatically and corrected. Click Next. In the pop-up window, here is the tube information, including the length, dead zone, amount, section type, and remnant. Among them, dead zone means the tube length which cannot be cut as shown in the diagram. It is necessary to get it right. The tube amount is suggested to be sufficient enough so that the parts can be nested completely. 
and the parts with different section will be nested on different tubes. If you enable this remnant option, the corresponding tube will be considered as the scrap tube, which will be nested in the first priority. And on the right side, part gap means the interval between every two parts if you don't enable common line. But if you do, this parameter will be invalidated by default. Generally, you are suggested to enable identical match. As for the functions else, today we are not going to describe them in details due to the limited time. Click OK to start auto nest. And here you can see that the part without common line has an interval which we set just now and the part with common line this option is disabled. The bottom is a nesting result zone including some main information in which every line is corresponding to one kind of nesting result. Double click it to have a check. And here you can see the nesting name, which is same to that of the files imported, including the section type, size, fillet, and cutting time. Cutting time means the time the parts will be machined. Theoretically, it cannot be modified directly unless you change the parts amount first, so it is unnecessary for you to calculate the cutting time of the nesting result by your own. Also, the tube length parts amount and some nails will be shown here and you are allowed to change the blank size manually. If you are not satisfied with current nesting result partially, double click specific part, there will be some operations here to adjust it like move forward and backward or rotate it in clockwise or counterclockwise direction. More details about the netting strategy will be introduced particularly in the future, but if you have any questions on this, please share it with us by email. The next is sort. Theoretically, two best will sort the carding path automatically from the top to the tail of the tube, but you are allowed to sort it according to different strategies. To certify the carding path in present is reasonable, click here to enable display sequence tag to check the carding sequence. Statically, you can click the inner arrow to verify every carding path manually. Yellow means are certified, blue the current, and green the to be certified. Dynamically and more virally, you can click the simulate aside to generate a virtual carding head which can be customized to simulate the actual carding. Also click the out arrow to adjust the simulated speed. If you select one or a group of carding paths, this specific part will be simulated only. And next, we are going to talk about export. Click this icon on the left top of the interface. Too bad we export a file in YXY format, which is not used for cutting software, but an engineering file for nesting. It will save all the results nested, parts imported, and the processes added. If you want to modify it lightly, like changing the carding path partially, just open this file which is able to receive much redundant operations. Then, you're allowed to continue the editing saved at the larger time. Also, you can right-click the nesting result and click Export to generate specific files.
ZX424, CTDS for side tube. Besides, you can click here to export a task package, including a group of files in the act format. But it is necessary for you to use the Tube Pro in corresponding version to TubeS. And you can also check the type estimate for specific tubes. Parameters here can be customized by yourself. So today's sharing is coming to the end. Thank you for listening. Until next time.